this is my first time in public, so it's absolutely awesome, and yeah, I just loved it. Did you have any Great. moments when you were a little bit nervous? Um, yeah, it's, it's sometimes kind of funny when they're going like right, when they're walking right at you. you it's kind of, it's kind of funny watching that, how they're striking up, but not, not too nervous, it was, but it was pretty fun. And what do you have to do in there to make sure that you're safe? Well, what you have to do is, um, you know how I actually had a bucket that, that had food in it? And I was actually, uh, you've got to make sure that the bucket is down so that if they're striking, you don't get bitten on the legs. So that's one thing to do. And to also make sure that you're not too close to them um, is one thing also. Well, next, I'd like to feed a salty, a saltwater croc. No, big, the, big alligator. I mean, big alligator. <laughs> and then saltwater croc. After yes. the alligator. After the alligator. <laughs> yeah. So Terry, as a parent, you've got interesting landmarks as your children grow up. That's right. Um, it's funny how all parents do that. So you have your boundaries where you say, that's how high you can climb the tree, or this is when you can cross the street without holding my hand, or you know, you can uh, ride your bicycle on across the jumps when you're a certain age. We all do that, and I think growing up at a zoo is different yeah. because Robert begs me, begs me nonstop to get in with yeah. everything. So. <laughs> But it's like, you know, there are certain animals, Robert can't meet the tigers yet because they would just want to play with him. So you yeah. have those landmarks as you get older. Hey. Living in a zoo, it's, no, I'm not really scared of anything, but it's pretty fun. Yeah. Every, every day I get to wake up to the tigers and the elephants and crocs and everything. It's pretty cool. It's a good life. It's yeah. Cool. <laughs>